Welcome back to Nick's Allotment. It's Saturday the 10th of July. Uh, we're just having a cooking session down the allotment. So we'll show you what we're going to be cooking. So Joe's cooking. Hi, today we're going to have some spaghetti with fresh courgette, pesto, Sicilian pesto, cheese and prawns. And we'll show you as we get along uh, how they will process with the work to do this uh, fantastic dish of pasta it's so good that you will look you will lick your fingers right start off with having onions and garlic in first so Joe's just slicing them up look at that Beautiful, virgin olive oil. Plenty on it. Plenty on it, yes. Now put this on the slow heat. Just sweat the onions out. Sweat the onion out, and then we shall add the courgette on a low heat. And I picked some fresh basil, just to add a bit extra flavor. Because we like our food very flavored. Okay, nice and tasty. The garlic has been sweated out. Now we add the courgette. How long are we going to cook those for, Joe? Uh, till they go soft. Not too very long. Till they go soft. On low heat. We've got the water on, warming up for the pasta. Good, yes. And uh, we'll wait a few minutes. We'll put some salt and pepper in a minute. And uh, uh, the pesto. A little later, as soon as they start to, to um, soften down, we add the pesto. And I've got some fresh basil also to add on just to give it an extra flavor okay we like flavor oh yes we like very tasty food and, and some pepper nice hand okay now we add the pesto as you can see i put that in already and put some salt nice to make nice and tasty some prawns put some prawns in Yum yum prawns. Prawns. We leave this for Nick because I know he likes them. <laughs> and we take them off the heat now. Otherwise the prawns will be overcooked. Just with the heat from the courgette and the oil, let it rest for a bit. Take off the heat and put somewhere, not straight on the table, but somewhere that the pan can breathe. Like that. So it's off the heat. And we we'll put the lid on so no flies can go in it. Or my hands. <laughs> okay. And now we we'll see if the water is boiling. Okay, now we start to season this salad. Some salt. Won't put too much, just some, some bottle might not need too much salt. Some black pepper. Squeeze the bomb a bit, too much. Now this salad is going to be seasoned with virgin olive oil. As you know, look at it, nice and virgin. Don't be mean with olive oil. And some lemon juice, but I will not put the lemon juice now because lemon will cook the salad. So I will wait until we have a pasta. And then we, when we're about to have the salad, I squeeze the, the lemon in. So how much pasta we got in there then, Joe? Just over a kilo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's plenty of us. Yeah. So as you can see, the pasta has been drained. Now we put a half in a uh, pot and a half in the frying pan and I put a half of the courgette here in the pot because it's too much to put it all in the pot yeah, or in the frying pan the pot ain't big enough because the pot's not big enough, correct okay so. you see, half here we leave a half in the frying pan Mm. 
That's right, Joe. We have the cleaners come later. <laughs> uh, I'm bringing the pasta in. You don't need no more heat because the You want the pasta to suck the juice up out of there to give it the flavour now then. You're gonna wait about between five and seven minutes. Just let it stand and rest. Just to rest. Is there anybody else on YouTube who does cooking on the allotments? If yes, just let us know in the comments. And we stir it. So do this one. You got to think that here is on a shed. We are done all the, the allotment without the torn with so we haven't got all the facility. That's it. You see all this nice zucchini cushette? whatever you like to call it, mixed all together and we got to add the parmesan cheese in a minute Do you add that before we serve it up or after? No, before, so all the flavour can be in the pasta I can't see many prawns in there, but it was over half a kilo. As long as they end up on my plate. Don't be mean with the cheese or anything, so it doesn't taste it. I know it's not their favourite cheese, Joe, Pecorino, but... Oh, I know, Pecorino's got more flavour to it, but... Yeah. So you mix it all up like this, and the other. that you find a little bit dry the pasta just add a bit more olive oil in it it doesn't add just gonna put a bit more pasta in your neck The first I think the last time we had this, Nigel Muddy Boots came. Yes, you remember. Yeah, down for a visit. Set. Oh, sorry, mate, you weren't invited this time. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Sarah. All of us, the ladies first, or if it's any children, children first. Thank you. We've had to cook this meal today because it's a uh, real cup of the football, just in case oh, we're yeah. not speaking after. Yeah. <laughs> Either way. Just in case uh, if we Italian win it, you know, we hear, you never I, know. I'm going to be in trouble. I don't know. I might lose my job here. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think the score will be, Joe? Uh, I don't know. It's going to be a tough game, but I think yeah. Italy will win it, you know. Maybe. I'm not into football, so I ain't got a clue. 
maybe, never know. It'd be nice for England to win it because they have not won since um, 1966. Thank you, guest. Thank you. And this is between Nick and I. Right. Okay, I'm going to stop filming now. Okay, I'm going to out. Yum yum. Lovely beetroot. Ah, welcome back, folks. Uh, been up the last oh, week, been getting up up into the 30s, uh, just unbearable to work down here, so happened to come later on in the evening to do some watering, so I've come to pull some beetroot, so I'll pickle a few beetroot tonight. So th these are Baltardi, but I multi sown in the cell trays. You always want to screw the tops off because if you cut them they seem to bleed. Still bleed a little bit by screwing them off, they're not quite as bad. I do like a bit of pickle beetroot. I have grown the uh, cylindrical variety. I'll just check them and see what they're like. I always grow these, eh? nice and easy when you're slicing them. Right folks, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for commenting, subscribing, watching it. So till next time, ta-ra!